Yo, what is going on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, social media in general? Where are my gamers at? What's going on? Battletech here for Battletech HD Gaming. And today I'm going to do a really quick video to dispel some of the myths about computing hardware, architecture, and all of that shit. Um, mainly I'm going to be talking about floating point operations. Um, also known as uh, flops, gigaflops, teraflops, um, depending on, you know, the application. But right now, I just want to address all of these guys out here who think they know exactly what they're talking about simply because Microsoft said eight teraflops, six teraflops, whatever whatever they said. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to, you know, I'm talking about all of this crap. PS4 Pro... Xbox Scorpio, you name it. Uh, so, all right, let me, I got to try to gather my thoughts here because I got a lot of shit that I want to say. Um, and I'm going to try to put this in this video here. <clears throat> so, it has come to my attention that a lot of you guys on YouTube and Facebook and in different groups, you guys seem to think that Teraflops translates directly into gaming performance and I, I, I gotta let you know that that is completely not the case guys completely not the case I've been watching YouTube videos of people comparing the the floating point operations between consoles like you'll be lost forever trying to go off of that <laughs> you don't believe me here um I got a couple tabs open on my uh, desktop here and um, let me see uh, what do I want to show you guys first all right let's start here at the end we're gonna go with the Radeon R9 290X if we go down here to the very bottom with we can see clearly 5.6 gigaflops for the floating point performance okay so this is the, the, the teraflop number, the gigaflop. This is the floating point number that you guys are always talking about. Okay? 5,632. Now, let's compare it to something similar. The GTX 980 Ti. Whoa, well, look at that. 5,632. So I think that with these numbers, hold on, let me go ahead and uh, put these side by side. <clears throat> As you can see, these two have identical floating point performance. So I'm going to ignore pixel rate, uh, fill rate, all, I'm going to ignore all that other stuff, just like you guys do, and I'm just going to focus solely on a floating point performance so how do we do that uh, luckily our friends over here at digital foundry did all of the hard work for us so by you guys logic two GPUs with the same amount of uh, floating point performance should turn out the exact same performance correct correct <laughs> All right, so let's see. Let's see if the R9 290X can keep up with the GTX 980 Ti. Oh, wow, look at that. 52 frames, 54 frames, while the GTX 980 Ti is sitting at 88 and, and 90. How? But how is this possible? I thought gigaflops and, and I wait a minute, I'm confused now. <laughs> look, look guys, before you make your videos, before you get in these groups and you make these dumbass posts about technical, <clears throat> technical um, aspects and shit or uh, what am I even trying? Um, not technical aspects, but just um, fucking, you know what I'm trying to say. Don't come in there acting like you know what the fuck you're talking about because Phil Spencer 
rattled off a number because Sony rattled off a number to you and somehow in your fucking fanboy brain you're fucking doing the math. Okay, he said this point, this gigatexels, this is gonna be this teraflop, so it's gonna be faster than up than a, than up Sony place. It's gonna be faster than the Xbox. <laughs> we won. Shut your dumb ass up, man. Are you serious? I mean, I've had to listen to this shit all day at work. Reading through the comments and shit of idiots and shit trying to convince me Someone who works in fucking IT, that's all I do is build servers, repair machines, and I fucking, I support a medium-sized business. And I do PC gaming builds and shit on the side. Not saying that I know every damn thing. Nobody knows everything, but I know way more than a lot of you fucking idiots here on YouTube and in these fucking YouTube, I mean, in these YouTube, hell yeah, that's right, in these YouTube comments and on these Facebook and Google Plus groups, man, it's fucking ridiculous. So, in closing, stop trying to big up some shit that you don't fucking understand. Teraflops, gigaflops, However you want to break down the math, that shit does not directly translate into gaming performance. Okay? All of this information is, is, is out there for you to read and to absorb. But there's too much um, corporate damage controlling and fanboying going on out here in the console space. Just like you idiots out there who think that the fucking Ryzen CPU and the fucking Vega that they showed off at this last AMD presser, you guys think that that's what's actually going to be inside of the Scorpio? <laughs> Man, hook me up with your connect because I want some of that shit you smoking. Get your goof ass out of here, man. Look. It's still going to be console price. What they showed at AMD's presser was the AMD's flagship CPU and GPU. That shit is not going in anything but a desktop PC. What you guys are going to get, um, no doubt, is going to be based off of the Ryzen architecture. But it's just going to it's just going to be a, a, a little system, a new system on chip. Just like what you find um, in the, the current gen consoles now. It's going to be the same shit. It's just going to be a little more optimized. You're not going to be seeing all of the shit that you just saw. <laughs> and that's why a lot of you guys out here fucking fanboying for AMD all of a fucking sudden and shit. Like you guys gave a fuck about NVIDIA and fucking... AMD, both of which had fucking chips in both last gen consoles, but none of you guys even brought up any of that shit. I didn't hear no PlayStation guys talking about fucking NVIDIA. I didn't hear any Xbox dudes talking about AMD or ATI at the time. So why is it I see so many of you fucking fanboys out here now saying, yeah, AMD, oh, I am so excited for the Ryzen chip. Oh, this was going to be in the Scorpio, and the Scorpio's going to have this. And <laughs> I hope for your sakes that the Scorpio comes out and it does 4K, 60, at like medium to high settings and everything. I hope it's the best thing since sliced bread, because if it's not, I'm I'm letting you know my channel has never been about this, but I'm 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 coming, I'm coming for fuckers' heads, man. I'm letting you know that now. All you idiots out here that's been spewing this this idiotic shit like you have a crystal ball, like you can see out into the future, just because. Oh well, that's what Microsoft said. Guess what else Microsoft said? They said that on the Xbox One, they were going to be able to leverage the power of the cloud to you know, do complex uh, physics calculations and make the games, you know, so much better and more powerful and faster. Let me ask you this. 
what games on Xbox One take advantage of the cloud? I'll wait. I will wait. <laughs> but I already know that you're not going to be able to come up with anything because they did not fulfill that promise. But yet and still, you guys have selective memory and you forget that they told you this shit. But as soon as they come out and tell you, oh, the new Xbox Scorpio is going to make you toast. Oh, you motherfuckers love toast now. All of a sudden, oh, it's going to make toast. I don't know how it's possible, but they say it's going to make toast. It's going to make toast. Shut the f... Whew, man. You know what? Let me Fuck it. I'm ending this video right here before I, I, I really go off the deep end. But yes, that is it. Please like, subscribe, share this video to any idiot that you know that's running around talking about teraflops and shit in these console videos and shit. You guys don't know what the fuck you're talking about. So go do some research, learn what you're arguing, and you know there won't be need for videos like this. Alright? Alright, cool. Thanks for checking out my video. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And remember, less trolling, more gaming. Battletech out.